Hi crypto fans, welcome to CCS Cryptocurrency State. My name is Santiago Mewa, developer and investor, and in today's video we are going to cover the Zika Sync 2.0 testnet airdrop, but this is after the regenesis that happened the 8th of February. We are going to cover everything about that and all the step by steps, like always in my videos, of everything that you need to do in order to be in the best position for this possible airdrop of Zika Sync. We are going to cover a little bit about what was the regenesis and what news we have about Zikai Sync and everything that will involve the possible airdrop of Zikai Sync project. Like always, remember that you have my subscriptions in the website to join our Discord or if you want to use my application on how to register airdrops, you can check this video to know how my app works and get your subscriptions here in the website. Before we begin, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notifications and without anything else, let's get into it. Hey guys, well, like you probably are following Sikai Sync. This is from February 3rd. The devs on Sikai Sync 2.0 testnet. The system will undergo a regenesis on Wednesday, February 8th to prepare for fair onboarding alpha, which is the next stage on the roadmap for Sikai Sync. The regenesis will reset transactions history, token balances, and require teams to redeploy contracts. This only applies to Zikai Sync 2.0 testnet and not for Zikai Sync 1.0, which is the mainnet. So this regenesis reset is going to affect only the testnet. And in February 8, the regenesis of Zikai Sync 2.0 testnet is now complete. This means that there are new libraries, dependencies are available, and the documentation has been updated. If you experience issues with the transactions, ports, regenesis, pending transactions, etc., receipt your metamask wallet that is what they recommend and some of the introductions of these regenesis are breaking changes including updates on the account abstractions paymaster sdks and layer one contracts and the one million question is if you have been using the testnet and doing everything in zk sync before it's going to be counting for the possible airdrop what you did before or you need to do everything again. Well, there's no official answer about this, so don't buy anything that you hear around. The thing is that they may took a screenshot before the reset of the testnet and maybe they are going to use that information for a possible airdrop or maybe no. So we don't know that. The best scenario here is that you start using the testnet again. I don't think that they are going to keep resetting the testnet like happened with SWE and the damnet. So I think it's not the case with Zika Sync. The previous testnet was running like for months. So I think it's worth it to do all these steps of this video again to, for using the Zika testnet. And also I'm going to do a recap of everything that you need to do in general for Zika Sync to be in the best position for this airdrop. And you can go here to the Gorly Explorer of Zika Sync and you can check that you don't have any more transactions on your wallet. So you are going to be sure that your while it was reset and maybe you don't need to reset your metamask before starting to interact again with the protocol but now let's start with the step by step so the step one and step two if it's your first time doing zika sync airdrop is follow them on twitter and follow them on discord you are going to need that in the future of the different things that you need to apply for zika sync so follow the twitter and the discord accounts now the step three, if it's your first time using, you need to add the Gorlik Ethereum testnet network on your MetaMask. To do that, you go here to this link, chainlist.org. This is an official web page for, from DeFi Jama. And here you click include testnets and you click right here for Gorlik and you can add the Gorlik. The Gorlik network Ethereum is a testnet Ethereum from, et from Ethereum network. So you need to add this network into your MetaMask. So click there and connect and you will pump your MetaMask and you will add it. And like you can see in Ethereum mainnet, you are going to be able to search the network here for Gwarlik Ethereum and you will be able to go here and go into the account. You can see in the Gwarlik Ethereum testnet network, you use Gwarlik Ethereum, which is the Ethereum token for testnet. And that is the next step, which is the step four is get she Ethereum tokens from Fawcett. So you go to this link, which is going to pump up here. You put your address here, you click the CAPTCHA and you start mining this. 
I recommend you to go at least with 0 0.2, 0 0.3 of Ethereum, it will be enough. So after the mining start to process, you are going to see the rewards that you are generating. Then you click on claim and that is going to be sent to your Ethereum address of your garlic Ethereum, which basically is your main wallet of everything. Now, after you do that, what you need to do is we go to the portal of ZKSync.io and we need to bridge from the garlic Ethereum that we get from step four into the ZKSync testnet. So you go to the portal, connect your wallet, and once you are connected here, you go to bridge and you can see this is Ethereum from Warlick. I have 0 0.25, so I will bridge a little bit here, for example, 0 0.1. So I will send that into the CK Sync Warlick testnet. So click in deposit and this could take you like five minutes. Confirm the transaction and wait to this to com be complete. And then you are going to get the garlic ethereum into the testnet of zk sync you can see the transaction was submitted correctly go back to balances and you can see now if i go to balance on the wallet that i have 37.5 testnet dollars of ethereum so after doing that you already accomplished step five now going into step six in the portal you go to balances you will see your ethereum there now try to transfer option and, and the receive option. So basically send to another wallet and receive from another wallet. We can do this easily in our Discord. So if you want to participate on the Discord, go to my website, cryptocurrencystate.net, go into subscriptions, and there you can apply here on subscribe now to our Discord, or you also can get the application that will help you to register all the airdrops that I cover and your personal and custom airdrops. So check this video if you want to know more about that. The subscription for Discord guys is worth less than a fee of a transaction mainnet. So it's really, really cheap. So step six, go here to transfer. You can put the address of the destination. You can send here how much you want to send. And the same if you want to receive, you are going to have your wallet there to receive the tokens. Now, step seven is request faucet tokens from the portal. So st still in the portal, you go to faucet and click here for request funds. This is going to be on Twitter. So you can read here the message of what you need to do. But basically you click the button. It's going to pump up your Twitter account and it's going to send this tweet. After this send the tweet, after some time, you are going to receive the Faucet tokens there. You can see guys that after doing that with the Faucet, I received a lot of tokens, DAI, LINK, USDC, wrapper, uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum too. So clicking on the Faucet is also a way to get all these tokens and you are going to be able to use that to interact with different things. So now step eight is check the list of apps and trying to interact with the CKC testnet apps. Basically that is a link for this. And here you can see which ones are online, which ones are not. Don't get impatient. Maybe many of these apps, even that says online are not working you. So don't be impatient. Maybe they need to make updates after this regenesis. So this list is only for you to time to time check and try to interact. Don't get crazy. And if you get any doubt of why something is not working, go to the Discord and ask there. So after step eight, you have step nine, which is you also can bridge from Orbiter Testnet from Warlick to Seek I Think. So we already bridge, but you can, to get more transactions and usage, you can go to the Ringbay Orbiter Finance link. There you need to connect your wallet using Warlick. So move from the Seek I Think wallet into Warlick and you can put something to move from here to the other address. And you can see I will send 0 0.01. You cannot send too much, but you carry only the transaction. So go click on here on send. And the destination is going to be Zika Sing Chi. Click on send, confirm and send. And now you need to wait for the transaction to complete. That will be step nine. Now step 10, here you have the link for the Zika Sync uh, Crew 3. Basically, like many other Crew 3, you need to complete some stuff on joining Discord, Twitter, that is why that is step one and two. Then you have some security stuff to, to answer. You have some questions to join the mission so you can get here and answer some questions about the protocol. There are not an infinite amount of things. You can see that there is only four sections so you can really do all this. I think you can accomplish all these CK Sync quests on the Crew 3. 
And now after you complete the CKI Synchro 3, you are done with all the things about the testnet guide. So doing step from 1 to 10, you are already done with the CKI Sync 2.0 testnet. You are going to have your transactions again. This is post after the Genesis reset. So that is going to be fine. Now, in order to complete all the possible things for CKI Sync, you need to do more stuff in the mainnet. So that is step 11, is try out the CKI Sync mainnet version 1. So in order to do that, you can check my video. There you have the link for this video. I put this in October 17, still is, is valid. So here you have all the steps that you need to do for me and NFT on mainnet to bridge using Orbiter and to set up your account on mainnet. So check this video, check this step by steps. Everything is here guys for testing the mainnet. And step 12 is pay some Gitcoin grants using CKI Sync. Like you can see here guys in this on February 8th also, the mission continue. This is a tweet for CKI Sync. Each Wednesday we are highlighting a member of our fast growing ecosystem. Today we can announce that Gitcoin's grant rounds are coming to CKI Sync to continue funding vital development and public goods in Web3. So I would recommend you also to go to the grants and look for something that is related to public goods. And once you have one of those added to your chart, you need a GitHub account to log in here. So you need to have that before. And after you select one, you add it to the chart. And when you pay the grant that you want, I recommend you to make it at least $10. Then you can use CKI Sync at the last part to put the payment system that you want. So use CKI Sync. So you will register your grant payment with CKI Sync. So that is all about the step 12. And guys, doing all that, you are already using all the testnet of CKI Sync, all the mainnet, and also using the grant, which is also something that I consider needed to this participation on CKI Sync ecosystem. So keep an eye on all the applications also on the testnet to keep working. They are really, really close to finish everything. And we soon, in a couple of months, we could, we could have the launch. You can see how they continue working. This is from February 7. They have spending $3.5 million or more in audits, bug bounties, and contents to secure CKI Sync 2.0. But there's no such thing as too secure. Here are some added security measures we will take once CKI Sync 2.0 is open to the public. Check this information if you want to know about how I am taking this, the, the, the security of the network seriously. It's super interested, a little technical, but will help you to understand a little more about this protocol. And also you can see that they posted this in February 6th. The mission continues. There are more projects that are showing the CKI ABM revolution of CKI Sync every week. And we are excited to share another five updates from our fast growing ecosystem. So click here to check more news. You can see this video and read this thread in order to know all the updates on the CKI Sync ecosystem. They are continue building and they have half a billion on founding guys. So we can expect a very big airdrop if they do it. I think it's going to be one of those amazing ones. So keep an eye on CKI Sync. Don't lose it from your side. And remember that in Discord, we manage very, very interesting information about airdrop distributions. We already collect the optimism to airdrop. We also cover many other new airdrops that are not in my videos. We get it there. NFTs and all that is in my Discord. Many people know a lot of the ecosystem and share great knowledge about the different airdrops that happen in the space. And if you want to really be an airdrop hunter and get to the next level, you are going to need my app. With my app, you can manage multiple wallets with multiple airdrops. And I am continue receiving feedback from my users and doing more features and updates on the app. So go here to cryptocurrencystate.net slash subscriptions. Check the video on how my app works. And you have the subscriptions button here to Discord and to Discord and my app. Guys, that will be all for this video. Remember, before we leave, like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notifications. Follow me at Twitter, Crypto C State. I cover many things and crypto news and other stuff not related only to airdrops in my Twitter. So follow me there and I will see you in the next video.